Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wall Street. Bull Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. It is Friday. I've got my morning espresso. Quick sip of that. Awesome. Hope you're all doing well out there. Massive shout out and thank you to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you're new, smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because I love doing these videos on a daily basis, documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are just getting crazy. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic. All right, let's get straight into a little disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence. It's very important with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. All right. And me, my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. Yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that, especially in cryptos. All right. So please, be careful out there do your own research don't take what i say in these videos as financial advice all right formalities are out of the way community tab i posted up here saying you should every now and then go through and total up your all your investments that you're invested in you could be in crypto stocks forex whatever it is property just go through and total it up once every blue moon basically because i like to do that on a weekly basis to see where my position's at with all my investments i think it's pretty cool to do that anyway enough rambling coin spot this is where i buy my cryptos please feel free to use the referral link below you can get ten dollars in bitcoin but please do your own research and due diligence all these prices are in australian dollars just pointing that out everything else is set to usd let's have a quick overview of what's going on with australian prices at the moment bitcoin sitting at sixty one thousand dollars down three percent today ethereum's at four thousand five hundred still some good buying opportunities xrp's down 5.21 percent to dollar 18 cardano is a dollar 56 and i'm very bullish on cardano there's a lot happening on cardano keep scrolling down here polka dot 29 dollars you've got shiba inu down as well i'm surprised about that considering the announcement of their upcoming metaverse which is going to be interesting polygonmatic two dollars 22 crows at 63 cents i'm Curious to know about you know more about Kronos. I mean, they've got so many partnerships with so many sporting agencies and you know uh, clubs around the world, including my favorite Formula One. So I mean, look, Crow is definitely on my radar um, to add into my portfolio. I'm not holding it as yet, but uh, let me know if you're holding it down in the comments. Uh, New Protocol, eighteen dollars. You've got Tron at ten cents. Algo's a dollar twenty-seven again. I'm bullish on Algo. Waves seventy-four dollars. Stellar XLM is down two percent to thirty-one cents. V Chain is at ten cents. Obviously, it's gone up from like the seven cents it's been hovering around for weeks, which is good because it's still cheap, guys. V Chain for my, for me is still cheap. Man is at three dollars fifty-eight. Hedera is at thirty-two cents. Very bullish on Hedera. Uh, Axe Infinity is at $87 right now. It is down 0.43%. I love Axe Infinity. And obviously, they're going to be reimbursing all the people that lost money on Ronin. So again, very bullish on that. And I'm going to be adding more because also, I love getting that passive income of 78% APY, especially on CoinSpot. So you can just do everything on your phone, which is really nice. ApeCoin is down to $17. Keeps showing down here. IOTA is $1.17. Zilliqa is down 1.76 to $0.24. Cents. I know a few of you have commented saying that you got into Zillica very early. So that's that's awesome. I'm very happy for you. The graphs at 64 cents. Harmony one, 22 cents. Quant is 189, down from 200 the other day. Rose at 37 cents. Obviously, my other favorite here is XDC sitting at 7 cents right now. So I'm definitely going to be adding some more XDC because I'm well overdue for that. Apologies, I've got works again going on in the office. It's crazy. Never ever stops you. I don't know what they're doing upstairs. Anyway, let's go to the news. Crypto bubbles right now. GMT is pumping up 25% today. Again, that one has been in the media quite a bit. So I'm have a look at an article on that one as well. Theta's up, IOTIX, LN token, T Fuel as well, and Waves, Solana. That's pretty much it. They're the only ones in green. Now, obviously, we've got my favorite here, guys, Ripple XRP. Bitcoin, not the future of money. But this crypto could be. And obviously, this is in relation to Ripple and XRP. Of course, one of my favorite projects. I think this is going to be an incredible project to hold in the future. And obviously, if this case ends with the SEC this year, we can see some parabolic gains with XRP. Just saying, you know, I love the project anyway. That's why I talk about it a lot on this channel. Let's have a look here. Ripple XRP, a cryptocurrency whose blockchain is rapidly being adopted by many world's banks. The Canadian Imperial, Imperial Bank of Commerce has already started using it and banks in Israel and Australia, of course. 
The banks that are adopting XRP say that the blockchain's fast speed gives it an advantage uh, in processing global payments. Of course, this makes the perfect sense compared to other cryptocurrencies. XRP offers more transactions per second. Obviously, it's already second the most popular blockchain in terms of daily transactions, and it could get more popular as the banks start more banks start using it. Again. XDC is another one that I'm definitely, you know, partnering up with XRP, of course, as well as all the banking coins, but XDC has got a significant amount of transactions as well. And it is literally at seven cents right now, incredibly cheap. So why is it so promising? Obviously, XRP is particularly promising uh, cryptocurrency or more accurately blockchain for several reasons. First, Ripple has a blockchain offers 1500 transactions per second. It's much faster than the average crypto. For con comparison, Bitcoin offers just seven transactions per second while Ether offers 15, and Ether's got ridiculous gas fees. Just putting it out there. This speed gives Ripple an edge when it comes to banking clients who have an enormous number of clients to serve. Obviously, second, XRP enjoys active support from its developers, Ripple Labs. Obviously, it, it always doing things to support XRP, like recruiting vendors to accept the token and use RippleNet for cross-border payments. RippleNet website says that the network uses XRP token to secure liquidity. So while the banks are doing fiat transactions, the XRP token is involved on the back end. Very, very bullish, guys. Again, again I'm just dollar cost averaging into XRP because I think it's going to be absolutely insane. Some other news about Dogecoin. So you've got the founder says Dogecoin needs to market itself as a digital currency. This is interesting, right? Dogecoin creator Billy Marcus or Shibotoshi Nakamoto, Shibotoshi Nakamoto, anyway, whatever, um, would prefer the Dogecoin not to go on the description of a meme cryptocurrency. Instead, the, that he preaches that Dogecoin needs to market itself as a digital currency. And, you know, I'm still holding my Dogecoin before all the pumps happen, and I was holding it. I did take some profits out, and I did put it into Bitcoin. That's what I did, and I'm still holding a lot of Dogecoin. So I haven't sold much other than when it went, peaked up to like 80 cents Australian dollars, and I took some money out because it was just ridiculous not to. And then I put that into Bitcoin. I'm still holding it. So that's pretty much it is. So in a thread of tweets, the Doge creator criticizes scammy tokens, referring to them as SHIT tokens, which he defines as a meme token. Anything that, that has no use case, any token that people spam on threads, uh, he points out why Dogecoin needs to be relinquished its meme status, saying that there's already infinite digital speculation in the digital utility tokens and chains, and pointless speculation tokens are made daily. Dogecoin is in the best position to be the most used for purchasing and tipping. Again, let me know in the comments below if you're still holding Dogecoin. I'd be very interested to see that. You've got EU Parliament passes new controversial rules on crypto. Could be a reason why we're seeing a bit of a downturn at the moment. So the crypto industry has fresh concerns about innovation, privacy, invasion following the new measures voted by the EU. Have a look at this, guys. So more than 90 lawmakers voted in favor of controversial measures to allow anonymous crypto transactions. According to the documents seen by Coindesk, the proposals that are intended to extend anti-money laundering requirements that apply to conventional payments over $1,000 dollars uh sorry over to over 1000 to the crypto sector this means that even the smallest crypto transactions would need to be identified including for transactions uh to unhosted or self-hosted wallets so again a lot of transactions will have to be now declared pretty much you know this is the same thing as what swift does or when you're transacting large amounts over um ten thousand dollars in australia so if it's if it's you with you know depositing ten thousand dollars or you're withdrawing ten thousand dollars from the bank it immediately gets flagged by the um the afp which is obviously the australian federal uh police right here which is pretty full on so that's pretty much what's going to be happening here in the eu that's not too good as well and obviously this is in relation to gmt again i what i did buy some gmt on binance but i got out of it but again so why is stepping uh, step in GMT crypto gaining attention. So a play to, as play to earn digital games uh, become common, a new craze is fast catching up with people. The move to earn, move to earn crypto games such as GMT are rapidly gaining ground. GMT token was up over seven percent while its trading volume was down forty one percent in the last twenty four hours. So Ste uh, Stepan, if I'm pronouncing that right, is a Web three lifestyle application that engages social elements and gamification model. It equips users with non fungible token NFT sneakers to earn GST. The green Satoshi token tokens are through physical activities like walking and jogging. Well, I think that's good because it gets people exercising. 
That's awesome. So GST is a gaming token on Steppen Network and is used for minting and or leveling new sneakers. Steppen was created by Australia-based financial technology studio named Fine Satoshi Lab in 2021 when it won uh, the Solana Ignition Hackathon Gaming Track, Fine Satoshi Lab, part of DeFi Alliance Gaming Cohort. Besides GST Token, which has unlimited supply, Steppen has a governance token called Green Metaverse Token, GMT, with a finite supply of $6 billion. So again, that's probably the reason why it's going crazy right now. Top three Metaverse crypto coins are with a market cap below $110 million to watch in March 2022. Veracity. I love this project and I'm staking it on CoinSpot, earning some nice interest on that, which is awesome. Another one here, guys, is Wild World, W-I-L-D. I'm not invested in this one, but I've heard a lot of things about it. So that's one to consider. And this other one here, guys, Alien Worlds, TLM, I am invested in this. So, you know, again, I think gaming is going to be a big one and obviously all this metaverse stuff in, you know, the next couple of years. So keep an eye on that one. Cryptometer.io, let's go in the last day. I'm going to refresh this where the, uh, the money's been flowing. So you can see that right now. GMT, UST, Waves. Obviously, there's other ones here. Sorry, Zill, GTO. It just changed on me. TRX, Bake, USD, IOS, T, and XVG. Let's go in the last hour. Bake and Waves. So again, Waves is back up again in the chart. So I got out of that and put my money into Axe Infinity. Just saying. Let's go to Twitter right now. Have a look what's going on there because there's not a lot. Obviously, you've got XYO and Zill comparison. Thank you, Johnny. XYO, one punch for this one. Again, I'm still holding my XYO. I got him very early to XYO. And again, the comparison of XYO and Zill. Let's have a look here what he says. So one-tenth of the market cap of Zillica. 0.1% volume of Zillica. Similar supply. When altcoin season hits, you best believe XYO crypto will moon. I agree. I'm still holding my XYO. I've seen some crazy returns on that. Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 52 right now. We're almost at the greens, but again, we're in neutral. So we'll see what happens next couple of weeks. Binance has just announced that they will be official sponsor of the Grammys this year. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, some updates about Synfin XDC. Multiple bridges with XDC will be deployed on the wanchain.org. Very bullish on XDC. Obviously, you've got XRP. 63 million XRP with a value of 51 million US dollars was just transferred. Crazy amount of XRP, guys. This is interesting as well. This will be fun. This is in relation to Snoop Dogg starting his NFT collection on Cardano. This is an announcement from him. Have a look at this video. It's hilarious. They got some cool claymations too. Oh, shit. That's my music. <laughs> hey, Snoop, it's Charles Hoskinson here. I'm trying to get in contact with you, man. Call me sometime. Let's hook it up. That's going to be interesting to see what happens there. So again, another bullish reason for Cardano. Not that I can say that that's the only reason why I'm investing in it. Anyway, I think Cardano is definitely undervalued. Just putting it out there, being a layer one, it definitely has the the potential to be an Ethereum competitor for sure. And uh, obviously, Justin Altcoin Daily again confirming this. Justin Snoop Dogg to launch Cardano NFTs. I'm not that bullish on NFTs. I know a lot of people are though, but anyway, that's up to you. Let's keep scrolling down here. Ecash, um, a bearer instrument, you say. We've talked about this in similar outcomes for XRP. Retweet. This is interesting. Have a look at this, guys. US lawmakers pass Ecash bill that replicates physical money, leaving aside the Fed. So check this out. The Ecash bill seeks to create a digital version of the USD that replicates physical cash and would be issued by the US Treasury instead of the Fed. Obviously, this is very different. So eCash is not a CBDC, but a complement to it. So keep an eye on this. This is this is interesting. Obviously, you know, it's not too good because they're going from CBDCs now to eCash. I mean, obviously, physical cash is becoming irrelevant now. I mean, most people in, you know, stores in Melbourne or in Australia basically don't accept cash anymore. It's incredible. Obviously, we've got ADA's Cardano price has changed by negative 5.37% or 5.37% in the last 24 hours. Check Cardano's Forbes profile. Again, I think it's undervalued. You've got BlackRock president warned of inflation's dramatic effects with the entitled generation. This is an interesting article. Go and have a read of that on Bloomberg. Bloomberg senior analyst says Ethereum demand is increasing. There's a lot of institutions that are going for Ethereum. It is the favorite child, just saying it's backed by you know JP Morgan and the rest. Just putting it out there. I'm not a massive fan of Ethereum. I think it could 
easily come down in price. If it does, I might scoop some up. But again, it's pretty high right now. I'm not that bullish on Ethereum. Um, Shiba Inu promises year loaded with more surprises. And here, uh, here are its growth plans. Again, that was yesterday in relation to the metaverse. And I think there's, you know, I think Shiba Inu is going to be a great project just in the future. Just saying, I've, I've seen some pretty incredible returns on it. Not, I'm not in financial advice, of course. Three commas. Let's have a quick look at this. It has made me ten dollars and fifteen cents so far today. USD, really nice. Um, my, my, obviously, my position is now down to negative twenty-one because again, I came out of my trades from November when the last crash happened and I got out of it. I was down like $300 US dollars. Now it's just come really nicely. So I'm almost in profits. Give it another week or so and I'll be fully in the green, which is really nice. These are my bots that I've got set up right now. You can see them right here. There is a video I'll put up on how to set them up. Please be careful though and do your research. These are all my deals. I'm not trading any volatile altcoins, just the big ones right here, as you can see because obviously they are reliable in terms of their movement and volatility. Again, the lower caps are just crazy volatile. So three commas has been doing really nicely for me. Let's go into crypto, uh, coin meter, sorry, coin market cap, losing my mind. $2 trillion market cap. It is holding above that. We'll see what happens over the weekend if it drops down. $126 billion in volume. So again, it's a lot of volume. 41% BT, uh, 40, BTC, 18% Ethereum. The gainers today, let's have a look here. Obviously, you've got GMT, Syntex, um, Theta Fuel, I'm still holding that. Theta, I'm holding as well. Iodex, Aave is down, ApeCoin's down, Loopring, everything else is down. Good buying opportunities, in my opinion. Let's have a look at my portfolio right now. You've got Bitcoin at 45,000 US dollars right now. If it drops below that on the weekend, I don't think so, but you never know. So obviously everyone you know, tends to move away from cryptos over the weekend. I like to buy my cryptos on a Sunday night, Monday morning in Australia. That is the quiet time here. So I like to dollar cost average on that time. Obviously you've got XRP at 81 cents still. So again, very, very cheap. Uh, obviously you've got Cardano's at $1.14. You've got Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Polygomatic, New Protocol, Tron, Stellar, VeChain, Mana, Hedera, Theta, Sandbox, Axe Infinity, I'm bullish on Phantom, The Graph, BTT, Harmony One, Neo, Gala, Loopring, Amp, Holochain, Theta Fuel, Rose, Anchor, XDC is at $0.05 cents USD right now, Searcoin, Ravain, Digibyte, Telcoin, Nervous Network, Winglink, Superfarm, Reserve Rights, XYO, MetaHero, UFO Gaming, Constellation Dag, VThor, Reef is at one cent right now, Proton XPR, Veracity, Alien Worlds, TLM, bullish on that, Electronium, Kin, Star Atlas is another gaming one that I'm bullish on, I've got three cents right now, Acropolis Gas, Ubix Network, People, and Ecomi. So that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of the update today, let me know in the comments below uh, if you're intending on buying anything new. Would love to hear your thoughts and feedback. All right, speak to everyone in the comments. Peace. Bye.